if you could go back in time on a way back machine and give yourself a bit of advice, what would it be today? Advice about what? Life? <laughs> Life in general? Career? What Advice on what? I would assume, you're welcome, bravo. Uh, I would assume you mean about audio and stuff. Here's something I would tell you. Uh, go back, and again, I'll just say it, but if you want you want uh, uh, some inspiration advice, go back and listen to my podcast on Home Recording Made Easy YouTube channel from, uh, what are we in, 23? From, I think it was 21, two years ago. When I first got into the analog and I first bought the console, I did a podcast episode talking about, it was 21. It was right after COVID. COVID happened in 20, it was 21. And I said, because we, you know, we talk about all this stuff. We talk about gear, we talk about plugins. We, this is all fun, we're having fun. And a lot of people, um, once I went from the box not that I left the box, right? We were talking, about, I still work in the box. We've been talking about that. When I when I added the analog workflow to my business model and, you know, along with the box, you know, a lot of people, you know, said, why'd you do this? Why'd you do that? And we talked about that. And then other people since that time have seen the channel grow. And a lot of you guys who've never used any hardware, any analog, starting to get in the hardware. Some of you guys have run out and bought consoles. Um, a lot, a lot of guys and gals are, you know, procrastinate and they, you know, this, that, and the other thing. And I have a lot of private students that I teach, uh, Zoom, again, I have coaching services, all that stuff. And I teach lots of private students. Um, and one of the things that comes up a lot, whether it's about making a, a quantum leap or an investment in their studio, whether it be there's someone who works a regular job like most of you do, like I did for for my whole career and then wanted to do music full time and all of that stuff. And, and, and that's, you know, making that kind of a life shift and change. And the one piece of advice that I wish I would have took earlier, but I, I, I got around to it sooner than later, but I wish I did this as a younger guy was if there's something in life, and this was after COVID, COVID really hit home with me and it made me really start to think about something that you've heard said a billion times by people, a cliche. If there's something that you really wanna do, man, in your life, in your career, in your music, in your business, or start a business, or buy a console, or whatever you wanna do, there's no better time to do it than now, because if you don't do it now, when are you going to do it? Right? And again, this was huge, right? Right during and after COVID. I can't tell you during the COVID pandemic, everybody was home, right? The whole, the whole world was shut down. Nobody was working for a long time, unless you were one of those essential critical workers that needed to go to work. I can't tell you, I was overloaded with coaching sessions because people were home so they wanted to do coaching and in the studio and i can't tell you how many of those calls were oh my god i just lost my job due to this pandemic my my small company shut down that i was working for or oh my god i don't know if i'm going to be going back to work i've been wanting to do music full-time forever i've been toying around with this thing forever i need to, to i in a, in a panic i need to now replace whatever I was making at my full-time job now that I'm not working anymore because of COVID and nobody knew at that time, right? We didn't know if we were going to be locked up for years. We had no idea. It was never experienced anything like that, right? And they wanted to turn on a dime what their regular job to a full-time in music. And hey, Dave, how do you do what you do? And how did you do this? And teach me what you do. Teach me how you do this. And, uh, you know, and 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 I I can't tell you how many of those calls I had, and I, and unfortunately I had to be honest with people like I am with all of you and say, man, you just don't go like this, and all of a sudden you're making a full time living in the music business. That doesn't happen. That happens to one in a million. Um, th this is this is a thing that's taken me 15 years to build, and only in the last maybe seven have I done it full time, maybe eight. Right? I built it 10 years. I did it as a part time gig. So my 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 advice was. You know, if you're thinking about it or you're thinking about getting something or it's a lot of people there, 
I'm ready to pull the trigger on this. I'm ready to pull the trigger on that. And everyone's got different circumstances. I get it, especially when it comes to money. But I just tell people, stop putting it off. Stop putting it off, especially a lot of people that follow us here. Not all of you, but a lot of you are in your 50s, 40s, 50s, 60s, age-wise. If you don't do it now, when are you going to do it? That's why I bought a console. I was telling that story I told you, well, some of you, as you know, I was toying over this idea for two, three years before I pulled the trigger. Three years. I can pro procrastinated. Oh, it's too much money. And what if nobody hires me? And oh my God, I, I'm going to start another YouTube channel. What if nobody likes it? And what if nobody gives a shit? Did I buy all this stuff and waste all this money? I just kept, I kept telling myself for three years, a hundred thousand reasons why it wasn't going to work out. <laughs> right? And then finally, COVID woke me up and I said, you know what? If I don't do this now, when am I going to do it? And that's the advice I have. If you want to do something in this business or in your music or in your studio or in your career, if you want to work, you know, there's a million ways to make money in the music business, a million ways to make a living. How hard are you willing to work? How disciplined are you? And you know, are you all talk and no action? Or are you, are you all action and no talk? And it's that simple. And that would be the advice I would give to people. Just do it. Like what's that, Nike? They say that, just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Don't go into bankruptcy doing it. Don't get divorced. Don't go out by a console and get divorced. I'm just saying, if you wanna do something, do it. And I, and I'm, I, as scary as all this was, I am, I could not be happier that I went out and did all of this. I've learned a ton. I met a lot of great people, uh, online because of it. I've gotten a lot of work because of it. It's re, it's, 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 uh, it helped expand my business because of it. And every single person, every single person with the exception of david sj who he was actually one of these people and then he actually came around pretty quick but every single person when i told them i was thinking about buying a console buying analog told me i was crazy told me it was going to fail i got so much hate on my youtube on this youtube channel as i told you earlier about it no one's going to hire you nobody's going to hire an analog mixing engineer this will never work this is dinosaur technology andrew sheps this michael brower that you don't know what you're doing you've lost your mind every single person and this thing is not only paid for itself in the first two years but has grown my business probably by the end of this year 25 percent in two years I've gotten more business from this stuff than I ever did mixing in the box. So for every person that told me no one would ever hire me, I'm busier now than I've ever been. And if I listen to all those people, I wouldn't have expanded my business. Those are the same people, and I'm on a rant here because you asked, those are the same people that told me when I started home recording made easy .com in 2014, told me I was out of my mind. There was no possible way you can make a living making training videos in your home studio, no possible way. Everybody, every one of my family members, with the exception of my wife, all my relatives, my siblings, friends, work colleagues at the time, everyone told me I needed to grow up and I didn't know what I was doing. And in less than five years, I turned something that started at absolutely nothing into a six figure income year over year over year. With no help, <laughs> I'm the only, well, help my buddy dave helped me but i mean home recording made easy no help no team of people no assistance no social media marketing people nobody did all myself if i would have listened to every one of those people that told me i was crazy i'd be still working some corporate job that i hated working 65 hours a week and probably would be dead of a stress heart attack by this point in my life <laughs> so my advice is don't let anyone tell you that it can't be done. My advice is, if everybody tells you you're crazy, that means you're probably onto something. And my advice is, the only reason why people tell you that you're crazy and that you're gonna fail is because they failed themselves and they couldn't get it done. And misery likes misery. Just like when someone mentioned in the, a little earlier about the comments, right? 
negative people like to be around other negative people and negative people like to see you fail because they can't succeed. So they want you to fail along with them because it makes them feel good about themselves. Don't listen to those people. Don't listen to those people. So that's my free business and life coaching advice for the evening, fellas. Does that answer your question? You're probably like, I didn't even want to know half of what you just said. <laughs> but that's my advice. Do it. I wish I would have done this 15 years earlier. But better late than never. <laughs>